Chapter 21. Breathe. Stephen stared at the clock on the wall. What if he couldn't lift the mallet? What if he dropped it on his toe? What if he dropped it on Mr. Kidswater's toe? He could be expelled. Breathe, said Jason from the desk next to him. Stephen took a breath. He stared at the clock. What if someone left a skateboard on the stairs? Then he might trip over it on his way to the gong. If he broke his leg, Mr. Kidswater would yell at him for being late. Breathe, said Rondi from the desk on his other side. Stephen took a breath. He stared at the clock. Sometimes it seemed the hands didn't move at all. Other times he'd blink and it would be half an hour later. Time didn't always make sense at Wayside School. For lunch, Miss Mush made pepper-only pizza. Stephen ate his slice, but did not remember eating it. His only clue was that he was very thirsty and his tongue and lips burned. He returned to his seat in Mrs. Jewell's class. He stared at the clock. Jenny was late coming back from lunch. Sorry, Mrs. Jules, she said. I can't find my skateboard. Oh, no, Stephen shouted. Are you all right, Stephen? Mrs. Jules asked him. Why did he have to pick me? Stephen moaned. If you didn't want to do it, why'd you raise your hand? Asked Mac. Everyone else had their hands raised, Stephen explained. I mean, I guess I was excited about it at the time, but now... You have cold feet, said Mrs. Jules. Yes, exclaimed Stephen. He wondered how Mrs. Jules knew that. His feet felt like two blocks of ice. No wonder she was a teacher. But what did his frozen feet have to do with ringing the gong? Breathe, said Mrs. Jules. Stephen took a breath. Mrs. Jules' class always had music on Friday afternoons. I'm sorry, we don't have any musical instruments today, she announced. They were sent out to be cleaned and we haven't gotten them back yet. What if the gong was being washed too? Would he have to bang it on a different day? Breathe, said Kathy. Stephen took a breath. So just use what you were born with, said Mrs. Jules. And a one and a two. Dana loudly blew her nose. Ron twiddled his lips. Mac puffed out his cheek and popped it with the flick of a finger. Calvin and B.B. whistled. Joe stood on his head and sang jingle bells. Paul pulled Leslie's pigtails. She shrieked, squealed, or squawked, depending on the pull. Stop the music! Mrs. Jules suddenly shouted, and the room became instantly quiet. Stephen, you're late, she told him. I'm sorry, I was so carried away by the music, I didn't notice the time. Time, said Stephen. Now, Stephen, said Mrs. Jules. He remained frozen in his chair. Mrs. Jules asked Jason and Rondi to help. They moved to either side of Stephen and slowly lifted him to a standing position. It's time, buddy, said Jason. Time, Stephen repeated. He took one step, then stopped. Now the other leg, said Rondi. He took another step. You can do it, Stephen, cheered Kathy. Bang that gong like no one ever banged it before, called Joy. Stephen walked across the room. He stepped out the door. Behind him, he heard the entire class shout together, Breathe! Stephen took a breath.